In their application, they said they want to work at Boom Sonic. These are eighth graders. They want to see six years into the future. That look into the future seems a lot closer for aviation students. Before they get there, they have to master the art of drilling and manufacturing airplane parts. If you have one hole off, it won't work. Just where we're starting at now, more advanced um, way to work in this field. For ninth grader Jonathan Evans, the next four years of high school could land him a job at Boom Supersonic. He wants to be an aerospace engineer. It is just getting more advanced in advance. So with them doing this with planes, it's kind of just showing that other thing of the world is evolving. Guilford County Schools partnered its CTE courses with Guilford Technical Community College. Students through certain programs can get double credit for classes, meaning that they can graduate high school and go directly into the workforce. When they do graduate from high school, it's not a matter of if I'm going to get a job, it's a matter of where am I going to work. The district will meet with Boom Supersonic and make changes to what's taught in CTE courses. That if we decide we need to get into customized training, that we will now be able to do that within our program. Good news for Lola Milliken, a 10th grader who has wanted to be a pilot since she could crawl. And a, like a motivation to get through this course and get to Sonic Boom so we can be like almost like the first people there. Maybe even the first female pilot for Boom Supersonic. So my dad has talked about it since he heard about Sonic Boom and it'd be like, wow, like I made it. There are